Hey guys, Virtus here and welcome back to the survival horror game series. In today's video, we're going to be continuing on with our horror game and we're going to be creating a true first person camera. So for those of you that don't know what a true first person camera is, it's essentially um, a first person camera where you can actually see the rest of the body. So when you look down, you can see the feet, when you're running and jumping, you can see the arms and so on. And the way that we actually set this up is we essentially just get a third person character like we have done uh, so far and we just pretty much move the camera down socket it to the head and then you know it makes it a little bit more realistic so for those of you that haven't been watching the horror game so far um, I definitely advise that you check out the previous video and uh, the rest of the series where we actually create all of the cool stuff in this game such as the hunger system uh, the heads up display the pickups and more also, I advise that you check out the Unreal Engine 4 beginner tutorial series just so you can easily follow along and understand. Anyway, so without further ado, let's go ahead and show you exactly how we can create this, uh, you know, true first person camera. So for this, we're using the third person, exa uh, third person uh, sample project that we created at the beginning of the series. Once again, I haven't changed anything. We're just going to be using all of the stuff, uh, you know, that's fresh. Also, while it's loading, I just wanted to let you all know that um, I'm actually going to be giving a link to the whole project uh, towards the end of the series once we've got more stuff in there. So now that we've got it open, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we need to do is we need to open up the blueprint for the third person character. Now the reason why we're going into this is because it actually contains the, uh, the character and the camera. So this little camera actor that we have here Oops, sorry, hold up. This little camera actor here is what we actually see. So what we need to do is essentially uh, move it forwards and move it to the head. And we also need to socket it so that it actually attaches to the head um, and, you know, doesn't stay in one place. And the reason why we're going to do that is just so we can avoid clipping and other issues. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get my follow camera and I'm going to drag it over to mesh just like that. Now the reason why I'm doing this is because I want it to become a child of uh, the mesh and it also allows me to socket it to the mesh. So if I wanted to, I could now go over to sockets and the details panel and I can actually attach this follow camera to one of the sockets. So the one I'm actually going to work with is the socket for the head. And now you can see it's actually moving with the animation for the head. And what this is going to do is just move it along with the head and that way there's no chance of clipping or any other issues like that. So you can see it's now actually rotated so we need to figure that out. So for some reason there's some uh, weird rotation on the head socket uh, so what we need to do is just rotate the camera and to do that all we got to do is just grab it and just rotate it just like that. I'm going to rotate it by 90 degrees and because we don't want it to be a third person camera anymore, we need to bring it over to the head just like this and we need to move it into place. Now one thing I do want to mention is that you might want to just um, make sure that you turn off snapping so you can do it a little bit more precisely. And once you've got it in there, just go ahead and uh, place it wherever you want. I'm going to try and keep it relatively far back uh, so I can see the hands and everything. But if I go ahead and press compile press play, you can see we've now got our more realistic camera. However, we're actually having some controller issues, so we need to play around with a few things. So for this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the details panel for my third person character, and I'm just going to make sure that it uses the yaw. So what that's going to do is pretty much just rotate the, uh, you know, just pretty much rotate the camera and everything uh, on the yaw, so left, right, and so on. So if I go ahead and press compile now, press play, it should be a lot better, and now when we turn around, you don't see the body and all of that cool stuff. And when we jump, we can see the hands. Uh, if you wanted to see the hands more, we'd just simply move the camera down. It's really simple to do. It's going to go ahead and select my camera. And once again, I'm just going to move it down a little bit 
just like that and I'm gonna make sure that it's centered in my head. It's really easy to tweak the position of the camera if you wanted to. So you can move it down, up, left, right, do whatever you gotta do. Just try and find whatever works best for me, for you. But for me, I like this lowered position. That way I can see the hands when I jump and it looks really cool. Anyway, hopefully this has been a great tutorial for you guys. Um, we have a pretty cool looking, uh, you know, true first person camera now. Uh, so play around with it, do whatever you like. Uh, thanks for watching, comment, like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.